They didn't even show the animal. <laughs> That's sort of sad. Did we bring the animal back? So we've done that. There's more requests. We already did orbital radio. Which one has the best science? Let's do solar wind monitoring. Okay, another Osumi. Always good. So, what's our research now? Still researching... Oh, medium launch pad. Okay, good. Didn't have that over here. I guess they only have four things over here? Animal testing debate. Several media outlets are debating the ethics of using live animals as test subjects in space flights, spurred by your recent animal in space mission. Some have labeled it animal cruelty, whilst others argue they would rather lose an animal than a human. Um, I'll pledge to end animal missions. We've done it, after all. Okay. I mean, of course, humans are animals too, so... Depends on how you look at it. Um, base, is there... we can build a medium launch pad. Let's get that out of the way first. That has uh, minus 3% vehicle build costs. This is reduced build time, but minus 2% vehicle build time is very marginal. I'll put it over here, I feel like would be best. I think. Oh, it was. Oh, it costs a lot. Oh, I didn't see the obstruct. Oh, shucks. Uh, that costs us a lot. Minus twenty four percent cost. Twenty percent cost for five months. Well, let's get Mercury then. And crew. Matsuo Nanane. Nanane. Nakagawa Sadanaga, Mura Suniko. Suniko. Retirement in 1981. That's a good amount of time. 1982. 1995. Wow. Minus 50% recovery time for this astronaut after mission. We should get that. Start each task with plus one comms. More science upon mission success. Yes, I'll I'll hire Mura Suniko. First. Okay, we've got a Mercury capsule. And solar wind monitoring payload is complete. When are we finally gonna do that lunar radiation thing? Jeez. Vehicle upper stage gains two experience levels after launch, so that's super. Um, this is just a tiny payload, so we'll go land the 4S again. I mean, we're getting more and more reliability for it. Lee Kange. That's not Japanese anymore, is it? Uh, not that Japanese launchers always have Japanese names, but... I mean, I guess we'll just keep it. I don't care. Okay. Yep. Expected reliability only 45%. Oh, there's an experimental fuel thing? Why is there an experimental fuel thing? Oh, it, it says it here. So that's just part of the mission. Well, more more reward, I suppose. Well, this is gonna be a toss-up. Alright, so we got Mercury. Multi-crew orbit. We can really plunge ahead, can't we? I think we probably want vehicle. We haven't built a new rocket in ages. So how about Delta Booster? Let's see, the Mercury capsule 
is going to be 1.8 tons. And none of these upper stages can handle that. The Mu-3 can, which is surprising to me, but uh, but its reliability is 60%, Delta is 80%. I think I already decided that we were going to go Delta for reliability, so we will. And the Japanese did eventually adapt the Delta rocket into their N1 rocket system, so that'll be fine. Uh, how is everybody else doing? Are they aiming for... Ooh, SS... Uh, Researching human in space. Uh oh. Hmm. We better get on it. Delta research complete. Already? Well, Delta booster. Go straight reliability for our crewed missions. No, I think I clicked next month, but. It completed much faster than I thought. Well, I guess it was some bonus from some mission. Well, that's an interesting shape there. Launch reliability, launch reliability, sixty-nine percent. Nice. Oh, I'm solar wind monitoring vehicle complete. Wait, oh, I'm confused. <laughs> Which one am I actually planning right now? Okay, so lunar radiation. Let's start with that. Get some training in. And let's wait until January. So wind monitoring. We can do some training. And we'll launch that in December. Oh, I, I didn't confirm the mission setup to... Oops. View plan. January, yes, confirm mission setup. Okay, we've got those missions planned. And we are launching the solar wind mission. With experimental fuel for some reason. Alright. Bit of a toss up. Okay, well, better than we had before, so adequate conditions continue. I do like the Lambda 4S, but it wouldn't be capable of any of this stuff, but I do like the Lambda 4S, so we'll forgive it. And wow, super duper. Plus one turn on first task in mission. Okay. Achieve Earth orbit. Well, should have done that already. Okay, let's get that and uh, some initial data. This is the first task. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't work. Okay, resist. Alright. Okay, barely squeaked that one out. Okay, more power. And... We'll, we'll try this one for the data. Okay. Okay, we got that. So we only get the extra turn for this making orbit task. We uh, won't get the extra turn for the soul wind monitoring task, if that's a separate task, I don't know. Hmm, we can, let's get a whole bunch of that and then recharge. 
Okay, we can resist though, right? Can we resist? Terrestrial weather patterns. Resist! Got those. And so we can get the last one there and recharge. All right, no problems, we got the bonus. Okay, maybe we don't have a second task. Yeah, I guess it would have other things on here if we had a second task. I think that's only for interplanetary missions or to the moon or whatever. Okay, so... Yep, let's just go for lunar radiation now. I'll leave the slot open. I haven't thought about what we were gonna do. Um, I guess that's just how it is. Delta research complete. And lunar radiation mission, finally! Boy, this has taken a long time. Launch mission. It's raining though. Ooh, bad conditions. Oh no, reschedule. Yeah. We ain't messing around with this. Yes, February. Okay, so we need to check on our research. I think... Satellite imaging might be nice. But Mars flyby and Venus impactor could be nice too. Hmm. That's a 800 kilogram mass payload. But this upper stage can only get to Earth orbit with 1.8. Is there any that can go beyond Earth orbit? No. None of those. Able definitely cannot do. Oh, wait. Uh, no, no, it cannot. That capacity is not good enough. So we'd have to unlock contractors and do other things, so that's a little bit further ahead. And this one, 1.5 tons we can do if it's just Earth observation satellite. So that we'll be able to do with the Delta rocket per normal. Though we might want to... I think what we really want to do is for non-crewed missions have something cheaper like the Moo. The cheaper throwaway option that we can build quickly. Whereas the crewed missions will have the Delta, which takes like eight months. The Moo only takes four months. And then we can, you know, mix and match as necessary as well. So, okay, I'm gonna get the Moo rocket. The Japanese did not launch the Atlas, so we'll skip that just on principle. Okay, launching Lunar Radiation or attempting to once again. Okay. Seems pretty reliable. What are the conditions though? Well, it's not raining. Good conditions. All right, continue. Nope, what, what? Oh, uh, I think I clicked on it again. Oh, uh, I missed the animation. Okay, well. 48%. I shouldn't have clicked. Sorry. Didn't know that was ha that would happen. Almost maxing out the quality of these things. Okay, so this is probably a multi-stepper, right? Oh yeah, translunar injection is the first thing. Okay, well, lots of data needed, and then navigation. Well, with a lot of power, we can get some navigation and one data. Data gives us... It's interesting that power... Okay, so that... 
yeah, we need data. So let's start with that. Um, we'll get... I don't know. Uh, okay, navigation and signal gives us data, so we'll get some of that too. Then why don't we get some power? Okay, control burn successfully completed. This is gonna be a multi burn sort of deal, I suppose. Ooh, that's a bad signal return test. Resist! I guess there's no resistance is futile message. Okay, so we can spend some stuff and get more data. We can get more data and navigation like this. And we can recharge. Let's do those things. That's wildly successful. Additional data. That's not so successful. Whoa, what the heck is that? Bright flake of paint from the spacecraft caused the tracking on uh, the guide star to be lost. That is not what that looked like. Um, resist. That is not what that looked like, but okay, we've got enough for this trajectory optimization, which will get us the bonus reward. Let's try that, but let's get re recharge power. Let's just recharge a lot of power to resist. I think it'll be okay. Okay, we did that. And we should be done. Continue. Off we go to the moon. Once again around the moon. Achieve lunar orbit. Okay, well. Let's get some of that and some of that and. Well, let's try some of that too. Uh, is that gonna be enough power? Hold on. Okay, yes, that is enough power. All right. Okay, that antenna alignment was successful. Visual data collection not successful. Well, we can resist. Let's get that visual data. Magnetic field analysis, okay. Well, got that science. Okay. We can generate some navigation. And that can get us some... No, this produces navigation. Okay. Let's just go like that. And we've got a spare navigation point which can get us signal, even more signal, and an extra data. So this is a, quite a recycling deal, huh? You spend the data, get that. You spend that one, you get the signal and get the data back. You can deal with that. Okay, part one successful. Telemetry transfer. And part two is successful. Mission data update. Okay. So we've got enough comms. We just need four more data. The easiest way of doing that is just getting the visual data. We've got two turns. Let's just play it safe. And I'll get power like that for uh, one resistance. And we're gonna need that one. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Visual data collection successful. 
That one we definitely don't need any help with. Okay, we got an extra data. And clear. Okay, very good. Uh, Soviet Union was fit to complete lunar orbit. Seriously, though. Anyway. Okay. So, we're, we're continuing with vehicles, I think. We got the moo there. I want the moo here. Can we plan the human and space mission yet? Payload. Mercury. Yes. Is that the most reliable mercury capsule? That's good enough. It's gonna cost a lot though. They're not exactly funding us enough to do these kinds of missions. They really need to work on that. Maybe we need to do so. Well, we've got no additional requests there. Let's see what requests we've got. Uh, I don't care about the science. How much are you gonna pay me? Don't these guys ever pay for stuff? Animal radiation test. Hey, we we said no more. We are not doing any more animals. You should just... No dog in space. Stop it. We already did animals. Why are you giving us those? I said we won't do any of those anymore. Hmm. They try and make me break my word. Okay, move three research complete. Well, let's unlock contractors. Speculation mounts about first human in space. Good. Mira Suneko gets my vote one columnist thought, but there'll be no shortage of volunteers. Well, she's the only one that's actually hired. <laughs> of course she gets your vote. Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll continue with that. And, uh... Crew available. We could hire more. Problem solver. Electrician. More science. More science. More science. Test pilot. Launch reliability for mission vehicle. Miyamoto Shuji. Expensive though. I think we're gonna save our money for now. Unlocked inner planets. Early satellites encircle the Earth. The world below is increasingly captivated by the idea of ex space exploration. Good. Mercury. I think it was uh, actually a little bit wider than that, but anyway. Pl uh, minus 50% booster build cost, but plus... Uh, gosh, the booster is really going to take 8 months. So it's going to take 12 months? Upper stage, so 1.8 tons, 1.8 tons. Got Delta. We can't use... Oh, we can use Mu, but again, it's not very reliable. So let's go Delta. Alright, select and Delta. No boosters. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna call it N1. <laughs> Confirm. 10 months build time. Okay, well, it's not that bad, I guess. Because uh, it's the. I guess it's the first stage that has the plus 50% build time. It's not the upper stage. Alright, we can, we can build it. Well, this is getting a little bit out ahead of ourselves there. Uh, let's see. That can go to the inner planets with uh, 800 ton, oh, sorry, 800 kilogram payload. 800 ton would be nice. So, we could do Sakigake 800 kilograms with the Centaur C. Agena is... wow! 
Agena has a 3.8 ton capacity to the inner planets. Uh, it didn't. <laughs> but uh, uh, actually, Centaur C should have a much better uh, capacity. Well, maybe it's Centaur D. Ooh, that's 15, 15 tons to the outer planets. I'm just going to have to stop commenting on whether any of this is reasonable. <laughs> so, um, Centaurs are much bigger than Agena's as far as stages. And actually, you could... I don't know why they th the Centaur C is only 4.4 tons. Mass-wise, the Centaurs didn't really change mass that much. Uh, so, 24 tons is close. It should still be 24 tons here, too. It should be a big stage. Um, these numbers would be most appropriate for the Delta K, actually, if you want to go to the inner planets with that. Um, this would make a whole lot more sense if the Delta K stats were over here and the Centaur C were over there. But here we are. So, but this is two months, three months build time, four months build time. The cost is crazy. Sign contractors. We'll hold off on that. That's we're not gonna have the money for those kinds of things anyway. Faster development of new technologies. The speed of developing new technologies isn't uh, that big a deal right now. Let's get this, but then we'll have to spend on the facility. It's better to have more missions, I think. Yeah, let's go with satellite imaging. We can do that right off. Okay, well, we are planning our crewed missions. Oh, there's the other planets. Hi, Venus. Hello, Mars. But uh, we are going to take a few months before we can get the N1 complete and have our crewed mission, and who knows how that's going to go. So I'm going to have to do some other missions in the meantime in order to try and get our money supply a little bit better and maybe some more science. So, but at this point, I'll wrap it up for this session and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.